Hi everyone, it's Sean G. Murphy. Here's a quick video on the three simple steps to get prospects begging to sign up. And what I really want to help you do is to eliminate the objections that happen when your team is looking to build their business. And this is really about inspiring possibilities with your prospects. So let's get started. My name is Sean G. Murphy, and if I have not had the pleasure of meeting you at one of the events, you know, you must be asking yourself, who is Sean G. Murphy, right? Well, I'm a speaker, an international speaker and trainer. I'm a father. That's one of my key goals. I'm a husband. Uh, I, I help people outline the things necessary to help them create success. I've been in the MLM industry for 14 plus years, an international consultant, helping companies open their businesses in foreign markets. And my passion is to train, it's to teach, it's to help you have more of what you want and less of what you don't. A couple of places I've been around the country. <laughs> Over the next few slides, I'm going to share with you some of my past, the places I've spoken around the globe and the companies that I've worked with to build success. What I really want you to do is I want you to pay attention to the points that jump out at you, that resonate with you. It is those key points I want you to remember as I share this information, this overview with you. So thanks for being here. And so we're going to get started. And as my phrase always says, hugs from Dallas, Sean. So who is this guy? Who is this guy, Sean G. Murphy? Well, my goal is to be a better father and a better husband. There's a picture of Mason way back when. Some of you know what he looks like now. Uh, I absolutely love being a dad. I love being a husband. I also love being an international speaker and trainer. There's a picture of me sitting with the chairman of the world's 24th largest MLM in the world. And it was in Beijing, China that I got to keynote to their top six-figure income earners. Uh, it was absolutely an incredible experience, translated into nine different languages at the same time. So. Uh, that was a blast for me. That's kind of one of my uh, feathers in my cap, speaking around the world. I've helped companies open. I've stood on stage in great countries in Italy and had audiences of three, four, five hundred at event openings. And, and again, that's just who I am. So letting you know that I've been around, I've got some pretty neat experience. These are some of the companies that I've had the fortune of helping, sharing with CEOs and top leaders to create success. But let's get to you now. Wanting to, wanting to have people pay attention to your presentations. That's the goal of this. That's the key is to get people so excited that they really want to know what it is you have to say, what it is you have to share. I'm going to share with you three simple steps to maximize your success, and this is key regardless of your experience. So here's a question for you. Can you handle more people in your business? And that's a real serious question because some people kind of sabotage their success because they don't know what to do if they had four or five new people join their business this week. Well, I'm going to show you how you can handle that and so that your answer is always yes. So what is a presentation? I mean, really, what is the purpose of a presentation? Why give a presentation is even a better question. Do you understand it's not just the activity of giving a presentation, there needs to be that result. Too many people give a presentation to show how much they've learned about their company. There's a phrase I use with CEOs, the better you get, the worse you get. Meaning you wind up giving so much more information that people just don't get it. They wind up with all of the facts and figures and, and telling all of this great information that's true, but the reality is is that all of that information just winds up overwhelming your prospect and by the end of the presentation they're sitting there going help I just I've had enough and that's not really what you want your presentation to be so what is the ultimate goal really what is the ultimate goal of a presentation many say it's to get them onto the starter pack some even say it's to get them on auto ship you know I I don't disagree with that, but I think there's a better solution. It's to get them to join you, to join you in your business. See, it's 
not just getting them to sign up, right? I got them in, right? How many times have we heard that sign here? Let's get started. So how do you want your checks to come? People, people wind up getting excited, but what really happens is, is if you can get them to sign on the contract, if you will, they still wind up running around and not knowing what to do. And they eventually get the, let me think about it. Or even worse, what if, what if you get one of these and maybe you have gotten these in the past, right? I have no time. <laughs> How about this one? I've got no money. Well, in these three simple steps, I'm going to show you how you can crush that. How you can absolutely take away every excuse for those two, no matter what they come up with, no matter how creative they come with their solutions or their objections. I'm going to show you how to change that. Here's what we know. People love to buy. They don't want to be, and if you've been in the business, you know the answer to that, sold. So I'm going to show you in three simple steps how to get prospects burning to join you in your business. The steps are clarify, qualify, and create expectation. Now, if you've been to some of my trainings, you've heard me go into this. I'm going to take you through this course and show you exactly how to leverage each one of those based upon where they are, where they are in their process. So let's take a look at the steps to use to be able to create prospects begging to sign up with you. Step one, clarify. You're really wanting to get answers, but here's the thing you need to understand. When you're clarifying with your prospect, chances are it's the first time they've heard themselves give these answers as well. So you really, it's this give and take, ask a question, get an answer, ask a question, get an answer. And it's really where you have to have finesse. You have to understand that you may be touching on some very sensitive areas in your prospect's life. So when you begin to clarify, it's important that you remember why you are talking to this person. And, and when I say that, it's really this, there's these subtle changes that you need to look at things, right? Dr. Wayne Dyer says, change the way you look at things and the things you look at change. See, it's not to help you, it's to help them. And I know we go in saying that, but if, you're, if you've ever mentioned, man, I really want to get this person signed up, this would be so good for them. That's, an, that's a selfish conversation that you're having. The first step is to get clear what they want for their efforts. And we sometimes we miss over that particular point. We've got to find out what are they thinking? Really, that's what we want to be asking in this clarifying step. What are you thinking? What are you seeing as a challenge? What are you seeing as a solution? And let them hear it, folks, because if I give you, if I give you the answers to everything in a foreign language that you didn't know, you would have to realize that this is something that, yeah, it's the solution, but you don't necessarily understand it. Why? Because it's in a language you don't know. And sometimes we're talking to our prospects in that same kind of language. Here's what I want you to understand. It's about being curious versus being the interrogator. How many times have you felt like the kid in the chair when you're being prospected how many times have you been the guy standing there kind of screaming at your prospect? See, in today's business world, the answer is in the question. Well, what kind of questions do you need to ask? Well, I want to show you and take you through this process that shows you how to use basic personal profiles to find out, A, where they are in the quadrants and then how to communicate in their language, right? There's the D, the dominant one, the I, the party goer, the S, the person that wants to support and take care and the C who is the one that's all about the facts. Just tell me the facts. So the questions in the D, it's about control. Would you agree if you have your goals identified, we could craft a plan to achieve them? See, it's about we could craft a plan, meaning allowing them to participate in it because the second you tell them what, what you can do and how to do it, they kind of turn off. Now you'll get, you'll get D's who'll say, well, just give me the ideas. Just give me the question. Just give me the information so that I can take care of it. And the I, right, the next one is the party goer. So tell me about your goals. Who will they help the most? And, and will you have the most fun focusing on these particular goals? See, folks, we're asking the same question, but we're putting it in a language that they can hear. 
because we've all spoken to people in the past where they've they've heard the words and they've totally disengaged and we're not sure why well it's because we weren't speaking their language the s's ask questions to show them the, how they support how they can support others non-confrontational don't rush them so do you see do you feel you have enough info to move forward towards your goal and you'll get a yes or no and then you'll be able to find a way to help move them through the process and then the C's are ask questions that give them the details on your business. Let's look at the goals. Let's make sure we've put together a plan that will clearly lay out all of the tasks to help you reach this target. Now, if you go back and you look at these questions, you'll see that the end result is the same. It's the path to get to that result that's different. And that's because we're going to teach you through clarify, qualify, and create expectation in the full course, how to use each person's personality to get them excited about their decisions. The goal of this step is to open the mind of the prospect to possibility. Because folks, if they're going to do something they've not done before, chances are they're going to hear something they've not heard before, do something they've not done before, and feel a way they've not felt before. This is critical for you to understand. Because that person is going to have to admit they have not seen this solution before. And that's what we're going to do is help you through this process is show you how to use clarify, qualify, create expectation and get them excited about doing something they've not done before. See, because the better you get, the more you get. I do trainings that talk about income, right? Mental profits, your thoughts create your income. Income is anything that comes into your life. The more you get could be more money, could be more friends, could be more excitement, could be more joy. You define more as you see it. But learning how to use these three simple steps is going to create significant success for you. So in the full course, we go into more detail. We talk in depth about the four different quadrants, how to ask three different dominant questions that really get people excited to join your business, the fun questions, what are three influencing questions that allow that person to realize and to understand that they're going to be a person of influence, three simple questions that help you do that. And the reason that it's three is because that's a number that people can identify with. That's a number that can get you enough clarity with that prospect. They know what you're doing. They know that you're going to be of value to them. In the S's, three steady questions that get the S's excited to join you in business. And then the three C's, they're compliant questions, right? Get them excited. What are compliant questions? Think about that. Have you asked compliant questions in the past? Have you asked influencing questions in the past or steady questions or dominant questions? What I want you to realize, folks, is that this is not just a simple training. This is a personal development understanding of people and where they are. And it's so easy. It's kind of like anything else you've done in life. Once you see it, you're going to go, oh, my gosh, I can't believe I missed this before. So that's what we're going to go to in the in, inside of the full class. Here's step two, right? It's about qualifying. We talked about clarifying. Now let's talk about qualifying. See, if you're setting new goals with a prospect, chances are they're committing to things they've not committed to before. Isn't that what any goal is? And wouldn't it be important to make sure you're working on the right goal? Maybe the best goal for them? Because there's some goals they need to that they really want to get, but there's some goals that maybe they need to focus on in the short term that they really need to get in order to get to that long-term goal. See, this is what qualifying does. It allows you to, to make sure they're not surprised when they change their mind and look at putting new goals first. See, when they begin to look at what they're going to spend their time on, what it takes, what it's going to take to get it, folks, they have some possibly big changes that take place in their life. Because you're really getting them to think about what are they going to spend tomorrow doing? What are they going to spend the next week doing? When you start to really help them qualify their time, don't be surprised that their goals change. Here's the, here's the part I really want you to get. When you help somebody realize what they can focus their time on that's going to produce them the best results, 
They truly see you as a significant solution in their life. And that's what I really want you to grasp from this, from this simple video. As we go through, let's take a look at some of the qualifying. You know, you really want someone to say, I can do it, right? Your ability to ask the right question is critical so that they can hear you as the solution and not as the problem. They should see you as the person that can provide them the plan and the tools to get the job done. What is this really saying? It's saying, sometimes we come on so strong. Remember the picture earlier, curiosity versus interrogation? You can ask so many great questions that make the prospect feel inferior, that make them feel insignificant. And they're not going to say that, but they're going to give you some kind of excuse not to join you. They should be able to see you through the qualifying process if you do it correctly as a solution. They'll still know that they, they've not, they don't have the tools available. They don't have the, the, the skill set available to reach their own goals. But if you do your qualifying right, they will see you as a person of significance, a person that can really help them achieve success. So as we go through the qualifying process, this is even more important to understand because you're really getting into the sensitive area. What are the different aspects? What are the different personalities? Will this goal give you more control over your future and allow you to the ability to have more quality time with your family? if that's of importance to them. Is this a goal you can see, uh, is this a goal going to bring you enough excitement in your life that it will keep your attention? Folks, are you starting to see, we're, we're going to the same end, but based upon the personality profile, we're going to ask questions in a different way. Being able to support a team of like-minded individuals is paramount in our building process. Can you see yourself playing a role in it? Do you see how the plan is laid out and how you can implement your skills to achieve success? Four totally unique questions, but it's based upon their profile. That's what I'm going to teach you in this Clarify, Qualify, Create Expectation program. So in the full course, what we want to do is each quadrant looks at the things they expect to achieve in different ways. Let me say that again. Each quadrant looks at the things they expect to achieve in different ways. We take you through the process, how to determine what quad the person is in and how best to communicate with them using their language. Now, this is something you'll need in the beginning. You'll, you may need it for a few months, but m imagine being able to, whenever you go back and talk to Bob Jones, you know they're a high D, and you know in your mind you need to ask thinking questions, action steps, deadlines, lists. This will help you whenever you communicate with those individuals. Because what will happen is, is as you get better at this, as with anything, as with riding a bike or eating or talking or walking, the more you do it, the better you get. And this is what we take you through in the full course of how to create these, how to ask those simple questions to instantly determine where that person is, how to listen to the key words that show you what quadrant that person falls into. So step number three, creating expectation. See. Sometimes because we get good at clarifying and we get good at qualifying, people are excited to get ready going right then and we wind up skipping this most important step. You know, we know it's easy to set a goal, it's easy to write it down, so why don't we reach our goals? Well, we don't recognize the path when we are on it. And that's what creating expectation will allow you to do with them. See. As the person that's prospecting them, it's important for you to gather and gain and recognize this is so important that they're going to be on the path to success. You're going to see it and they may not. I can't, this is so critical, ladies and gentlemen, that if you don't do a, a, a great job at creating that expectation, if for no other reason than for you to hear what they think it's going to look like so you can let them know you're on the right path. Have you ever had anyone coming to your house and they get lost and they're asking you for directions and the first thing you say to them is, well, where are you? And you know they're on the right path and you say, you're on the right road, keep going. That's what, that's what I want you to get here because too many people say, don't follow me, I'm lost too. <laughs> 
And that's not what I want you to do. I want you to go through this course. I want you to understand that this is so important. See, it's again, we can sign up people so quickly with doing some great clarifying and qualifying that they're like, oh my gosh, you're, you're the solution I've been looking for. Well, the reality is, is that you really need to get it. See, because if they can't see the future, they won't want to go there. If they can't recognize they're on the path, why would they go down a road that they've never been before? Unless they can call you and go, is this what it's supposed to look like? So again, the D's, what do you see are the new decisions you'll, you will be making to deal with the achievements you have set? Now folks, I, I really want you to, to, to just look at that question because it's designed for a D. It's designed for people to, who are really want to be in control. Tell me what you, you will do more of what you love as you move closer to your goals. What new trips will you take? What, what parties will you have? What things are you going to do that you love to have fun with? Are you starting to see how if you learned these particular questions, if you learned how to identify people on their, where they are in the quadrant, you might not have blown through as many people as you have in the past. S is, as your team grows, what might you need to get better at so you can bring the best value to your team and not let them down? Same questions. Is there any challenges you see as this growth takes place? And do you feel comfortable that you can address them on an as-needed basis? Folks, again, it's the process of helping people get started but it's making sure you're speaking their language. Again, in the full course, we give you a profile that allows you to help them understand where they are. So you need to have all of the quadrants on your team. Do you know what quadrant you're in? I truly want to help you succeed. See, having been on stage in 20 plus countries and translated into 20 plus languages, and having been translated live in four languages at one event, you can, you can actually watch how the translation takes place and how different people get it based upon the translator. Well, folks, they're translating whatever you're saying into their language, and if you're not speaking it, it doesn't make any sense. So a quick recap. The three simple steps, right? Clarify, qualify, and create expectation going to help create uh, the format so that you can understand it. See, we can do this with, a, with an online training. Because you fall into one of those four quadrants, I'm going to be spending time with you, each of you, on a one-on-one -on -one basis based upon the quadrant that you're in for you to make sure you understand all of this. See, I'm a high I. So when I communicate this information, a lot of times I can communicate the fun loving part, having great success, putting you out in front, in, in the stage in front center. But for C's, that, boy, that doesn't make, make them excited at all. So I'm gonna sit down with you and, and help give you the details necessary for you to ha have success with your business. The D's, use the right words, create the best actions. The I's, make sure you're inspiring, having fun. Don't get bogged down with the details. With S's, don't talk fast, don't push. Use words that are comforting and supporting and teamwork. And the C's, don't skip the details. Make sure you're using the pen and paper to show them how, uh, how you look is, is, as, is as important as how you present when you're going to talk with a C. So if you're gonna go out in your, uh, just run into the store closed to have a meeting with a C, probably not a good idea. Here's what happens in the full program. Presentations. No matter what company will create presentations that's best for you. The key is to create a style that relates to you and your personality profile. I'm going to show you how to invite using a presentation, using the three steps. How to invite people to come to a presentation, whether that's on phone, a video, to watch a video online. Any way that you want to share the information, to listen to an audio or a sizzle call. We're going to do role playing. You and I, are, I'm going to I'm going to put you to the test. Are you learning the material? Because to go through this program and not learn it, not grasp it, not make it a part of you, it's a waste of time. So if you're going to do that, don't start. Because this, this role playing, I'm going to show you uh, how you can respond to people who are in a variety of profiles. Okay? So that you can get that real world, that, that kind of test environment for you to practice with. 
The other thing that I, that I really enjoy doing is helping people get very clear on their personal why. It, because if you don't know yours, there's a phrase I use, who you are speaks so loud, I can't hear what you're saying. If your why isn't clear, your prospect is going to see that. They're going to know that. They're going to know that you've got some fear and doubt somewhere inside of you. And that comes across, ladies and gentlemen. So in week two, we're going to talk about interviewing. Customized, again, based upon your company, your product, your service, your flagship, or whichever product that most excites you. Learn how to determine where your prospect is in the quadrants based upon the interviewing process so that you can interview them in their language. I can't tell you how important it is that you use their language. And then teach you how to use a 60 second interview that will cover all four quadrants that you'll get easily to add people to your list every day, day in and day out. Just from whether you're standing in line or you really see somebody that you would want to have in your business based upon their personality or their skill set. Again, going into the role playing how to ask those questions, how to look at individuals and determine from their, from maybe their clothes, do they have a lot of gold jewelry on? Are they dressed to the nines? Are they, are they the way they stand? Do they, are they looking around? Are they wearing big sunglasses? All of these things to help you identify and give you a, kind of an unfair advantage of what quadrant that person may be in. And again, your personal why. When you're interviewing, this is going to come out. You're going to be sharing why you're doing what you do because if your why is so clear for you, people will want one very clear for them. All too often, people's personal whys when they're having a conversation, it's kind of muddled, it's kind of muddy, and therefore somebody thinks when they're listening to that, that that has to be their why. And they don't want your why, they want their own. So I'll show you how to get one that's so clear for you that when you communicate that someone else will go well if you can have yours i can have mine and then in week three it's about building your team because remember i said earlier sometimes we have a we have a tendency to prospect with the fear mindset that well if if i grow my team i don't know what to do when i build my team so i'm going to show you because when you start using this process you're going to be building your team how to work with them how to help build their why, how to help set up tasks to build their business based on their quadrants. Folks, if you can keep them in their playgrounds, they're, they're more willing to play in those playgrounds. How to hold them accountable based upon the quadrants. And then role playing again. These are real life conversations to help build your team. We're going to go over some individuals that are on your team. I'll help you identify, I'll help you use language, create language specific for those individuals so that you can go back and begin to use it right away. And then how to help them find their why. I'm going to show you the 20 reasons rule. This, this one, my mentor taught me this some 14 years ago. And this single piece of paper that I'm going to teach you how to use has done more to keep people invested and keep people pr moving forward in business with me than anything else, any other tool I've ever had. And I'm going to share that with you in the full training. So, and it teaches you how to keep them plugged in and on auto ship, which is key. Um, because auto ships are easy to get on. They're also easy to get off. So make sure if you want to learn more about this, you got to send me an email because I want you to have the best possible program designed for you. Some of you, it may be a four week program, but depending upon where you're at. But again, I'm going to customize this based upon where you are a in your business B in the profile or the quadrant that you're in to create the success that you want. So let's have some fun. Let's learn how to clarify, qualify and create expectation. The three simple steps to get prospects begging to sign up. I appreciate your time. Thank you for being a part of this. And you know what? Let's get started. If you're ready to get started, send me an email to sean at mentormoment.com and say, I want to get started now. And I'll we'll, we'll customize the program specifically for you and create tremendous success. So folks, I'm fairly successful at what I do. Actually, some people say I'm wildly successful at what I do. All I can tell you is this. I want you to have more in your life of what you want and less of what you don't. If you're ready to do that, then let's get started. 
send me an email right now. Don't hesitate. Send me your name and your contact number and a couple of times to give you a call and let's have a conversation and see how this can be of success for you. Appreciate you being here. Have an outstanding day and I'll see you where? <laughs> That's right.